for me, there are three simple things that that have kept me alive in the SEAL teams and allow me to freaking crush people in ultra marathons. And it's three simple things that you could all implement. These are the pillars of my life. The first one is patience. You know, that sounds crazy, but it takes a lot of patience to get through the first 90 miles in order to get the, to the point where you yeah. actually get to grow, right? So you got to be patient with yourself. You got to be patient with your teammates. You got to be patient with the process. That's the process I'm talking about, that 90 miles to get 10 miles of growth. You got to stay present. I tell people all That's the time. That's a book title right there. That is a book title, 90 miles to get 10 miles of growth. That's it, man. That's it. It's so true, man. It is. That's, and, that's, and, it's profound. And then you talk about being present. I told you I won this last man standing race uh, last year, and um, I, it came down to me and one other dude. Everybody else had quit, and it was just me and him going head to head for hour after hour. This other dude's name was Greg. Greg w ran, he runs for the American National Ultra Running Team. He's the one of the best in the world. And I didn't think I could beat this dude, right? Uh, but I was going to keep coming until either my body broke or, or I beat him. That, that, was, that was the only two options that I gave myself. But he came to me at, at a certain point in the race, and he looked at me and he said, Chad, we've got six hours until we reach 100 miles. And I just looked back at Greg and I smiled at him because I had seen this happen so many times in SEAL training. And I realized in that moment that Greg was no longer focused on the mile that we had to run right then. He wanted it to be over. He was thinking six hours ahead, man. And, and I knew in that moment he couldn't beat me. There, it was impossible for him to beat me at that point. Now, we, we, we kept running for another four or five hours after that. But the interesting thing is when he, when he was no longer present mentally, there was a physical response. And yeah. that's, that's how powerful it is. His body actually started to shut down. And there's a video on my Instagram page of, uh, of Greg coming in on his final loop, and you see his body shutting down. His legs won't work anymore. He just collapses on the ground. And um, it, that was the physical response for, you know, the, the price that he had to pay for no longer being present. And that's a huge pillar. The last one is being deliberate. Um, being deliberate. And what I mean by that is if I'm out here on the race course and I've been going for 30, 35 hours, whatever, running, and if, if I ever – stop being deliberate and I twist my ankle or I take a hard fall or something like that, my, the, the, the race is over for me. I've lost the battle. You have to be deliberate. I can't tell you how many teammates that I've lost uh, in the SEAL teams, and this is no hit on them, but they had a, a moment where they weren't deliberate, whether it was jumping out of an aircraft, whether it was climbing a caving ladder up the side of a ship, whether it was doing a land warfare maneuver. They weren't deliberate, and, it, and for some of them, it cost them their life. For some of them, it cost them their legs. Um, it, it's so important, and then also being deliberate with every word that comes out of your mouth. You know, the, this is a biblical principle. The Bible says that your tongue is the rudder of your life. It's going to steer your ship, your vessel, in one direction or the other. You can yep. choose by being deliberate about your words. You can choose to go in the right direction or the wrong direction, and um, it's hard to reel that back in when you lose control of your rudder. A lot of times you're, you're out of the fight at that point. It's really hard to reel that back in. So being deliberate, patient, present, deliberate. If you can do those three things in business, in combat, in ultra yeah. running, in whatever, you'll, you will likely stay alive and you will likely win.